Surrealism is an art form in which you visually represent dreams or thoughts. Its original birthplace is hard to determine because the classic deadists and surrealists move back and forth between Paris, France, Zurich, Switzerland, and New York, United States. The founding fathers of deadism are basically Hugo Ball, who experimented with sound poetry where he would recite poems of sounds instead of words. Marcel Duchamp played around with the question, what is art, and was the first to put ready-made objects in gallery shows such as shovels and euros. Salvador Dali, who was very into visual representation of his mind, he painted excerpts from his books. And finally, Man Ray, who shot stunning photography, even from today's standards. This is a great time when the world was learning about new art forms such as to go really far with this. Marcel Duchamp and Man Ray had experimented with film using outrageous special effects. But Dolly was the first to get the public really interested. I forget the name of the theater where the film first showed, and I forgot the name of the film itself. You can look it up on Google by entering Dolly, Surrealist, and Film. But Dolly and his friend, who helped produce, made a huge profit. They borrowed money from Dolly's parents and worried they couldn't pay them back. They ended up making three times the original cost. Special effects in the film included cutting a woman's eye open and ants coming out of a man's hand, which got the public really interested. Dadism and surrealism were wanted to start a form of sort of anti-art. Nowadays, this is most of the art that we have, but it wasn't like that then. It was quite revolutionary. Another big thing was the happenings in New York. Happenings were basically surrealist plays. Most of them made no sense and were quite boring, but in all, they were very imaginative and fun to make. These started well, well after the original surrealist times in the 50s and 60s, but were undoubtedly inspired by those times. Artists at these times were Robert Rauschenberg, Jasper Johns, Andy Warhol, Klaus Oberstein. These artists still continue to inspire creative minds today and are perfect examples of what to do when you feel one thing is going one way without any turn and you're sick of the mundane.